Hey guys, um, thank you for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on the third installment in the Vampire Academy series, Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. I'm going to start off by reading the back of the book as usual. Rose knows it is forbidden to love another guardian. Her best friend Lissa, the last argument princess, must always come first. Unfortunately, when it comes to gorgeous Dimitri Beliko, some rules are meant to be broken. Then a strange darkness begins to grow in Rose's mind, and ghostly shadows wind up a terrible evil drawing nearer to the academy's, the academy's iron gates. The immortal, un, the immortal undead are closing in, and they want vengeance for the lives Rose has stolen. In a heart-stopping battle to rival her, for her worst nightmares, Rose will have, Rose will have to choose between life, love, and two people she, two people who matter most. Will her choice mean that? Only one can survive. Okay, this book is about. Um, it's, to me, it's mostly about Rose and Dimitri. And I'm very. And I finished this book quite fast, probably like two days, because um, I, I was so hooked on it. Like I could not put the book down. Like in class, I'll be like reading all the time. I wouldn't be really paying attention, which is really bad because I don't know. It's just I need to pay attention. But this book is really, really, it's just really good. I just really love it. Um, uh, Dimitri and Rose, like, their feelings start, um, being stronger for each other, to, yeah, toward each other, and then, like, um, it's, it's, of course, it's just, like, forbidden love, and Christian... And Lissa are like so dating. Um, and oh, Lissa meets another spirit user, Adrian. Adrian's like hot. He's, it says like he's hot, sexy, or whatever. And he like, he likes Rose. Like he's trying to get with Rose, but then Rose is like resisting him. So it's just kind of so funny. So, um, but, um, this book, oh, and then, um, if you guys can read the second book, her her close or not her close, but her friend Mason dies by but from the struggle and Rose um Rose feels guilty about his death because if it wasn't for her being trapped in with the struggle, Mason wouldn't have come running back into and trying to save her. He was like trying to play superhero. Um, so Mason. So now she starts seeing those images of Mason when she's, like, alone, and he keeps on pointing. So, like, she'll turn, and then sometimes she'll start getting scared until finally she'll ask what's wrong. And then, like, at the end of the, at the, end of the book, um, the Academy is attacked by Strigoi. And um, there's, like, a whole bunch of Strigoi, and it's unusual to them because Strigoi don't usually work in um, big packs of you know, like, armies or whatever, like, they don't work as a team often, and it's, like, rare to find even, um, two or three Strigo working together, but then this time it was, like, a lot, there's, like, 50 or 60 Strigo, so, um, to me, out of the whole series so far, I've read all four, um, I, I just love Shadow Kiss, Shadow Kiss is my favorite, it'll always be my favorite, um, I have the six one spirit bound, but I don't want to read it yet until spirit or until the last sacrifice comes out. That's like in December. That's probably that's like six seven months from now, and it's like too long. Um, so yeah, if you guys have not read um the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead, I strongly recommend that you guys do because I just love the series. If you guys are into vampires, forbidden love, and romance guys would so love this series so yeah um comment rate and subscribe thank you for watching and i hope you watch i hope you read the vampire academy series bye